I'm Rosemary Murphy. I'm principal of the Lawrence Comprehensive Early Childhood Center and the Lawler Early Childhood Center. And Clifford and I would like to invite you to watch Channel 48. I would also like to invite all of you to watch our future parent workshops that will be offered on Channel 48 this fall. Bye. <laughs> I'm Mr. Capness. As many of the kids from the South Lawrence East School, they call me Mr. Cap. I'd like, you to, uh, I'd like to welcome you to Mr. Cap's art class. I have two students here today that will be doing, uh, participating in this lesson. This lesson today will be called Printmaking on Styrofoam. So how about if you guys introduce yourself? You're Hello. on TV. And Hello. what's your name? My name is Ronald. And I go to the South Lawrence East School. I'm in third grade. Hi, my name is Ella Fuchu. Um, I'm in third grade. I go to the Lawrence East School. And what would you like to say while we're on the camera? Hi to who? Hi to my mom and dad. Say it quick. Hi, mom and dad. How about you? Hi, mommy. <laughs> okay, so today's lesson is going to be printmaking with styrofoam on a styrofoam tray. Now you might say right away, where do I get a styrofoam tray? And you might even say, what is printmaking? You might remember doing printmaking when you were a little boy, little girl. And you'd actually take your hand, if you were in first grade or kindergarten, and use finger paints, and you would actually print them down like on a piece of paper. And that is actually a print. So what we're going to do today is printing on top of a piece of styrofoam. And you might ask again, where do I get a piece of styrofoam? So I have a couple of things here I'll show you um, of what you can use for this printmaking. This is a meat tray. You might see this here. This is something that is used in a supermarket. And you can notice it that it's, a, it's actually a piece of styrofoam that has a little, uh, little ends to it, little corners to it, okay? And the chicken is usually put on here and it's covered with plastic. Well. Because of the danger of bacteria from meat and everything, I think that perhaps if you really wanted to get a hold of one of these, you could go to the supermarket and ask them where you could buy these type of a tray. See, these trays here are at the South Lawrence East School in the cafeteria. Cafeteria buys them from a company, a paper company. So you could also call a paper company, find out if they have trays. The name of this tray is, the number of this tray is called 8S. On the back it says 8S Styrofoam Meat Tray. Again, I would say, don't really use a tray that meat has been on, okay, because of the danger of germs and bacteria. So once again, go to a supermarket, Demoulis, go to a market and say, do you have any extra meat trays or where can I get a meat tray? They'll give you an answer. And I'm sure that finding out some information from them, they'll probably tell you a paper company. So check for your local area where a paper company would be and see if you can get a hold of some of these meat trays. What we're using today is styrofoam meat trays, as I've just explained. And this is what you'll need. You'll need styrofoam meat trays. You'll need a pencil, a sharpened pencil. You'll need some white paper, just plain paper. This paper here will be for the print. So this is what you'll use. And then what you'll use is printing ink. Well, Mr. Cap, where do I get printing ink? Okay, you can get this block printing ink at any art supply store. All right, it's an art supply store. It's called, this is called Handy Art, all right, and it's called Black Block Printing Ink. Now, very important is this, that you ask for water base. Why? Because the other kind of ink is called oil base. And what happens is, if we use oil base, it's kind of hard to what, would you say? Um, like wash, off. wash off. Wash off by hands. It would be very hard. So remember, water base is the best type of ink to get. So you need black, blue, green, or whatever other color you need, uh, you can use. Um, again, 
You can get this at any kind of art supply store. And again, Mr. Cap, they don't have it there. Then ask them where you can order some water soluble water uh, printing ink, water based printing ink for this lesson. So, styrofoam, block of styrofoam, white drawing paper, okay, printing ink. Some kind of a tray that you can use because you're going to use for a roller, all right, that you're going to use when you're going to roll the ink. This is called a roller or a brayer, all right, and this is the brayer, and you guys are going to do this today because we already started working this on, on this in our art lesson today. This is the roller, okay? It's a rubber roller. It's an ink roller or ink brayer, all right? This can be bought, again, at an art supply store. You actually need one. It's rubber, so it can be washed off every time you make a print because, again, it washes off so easily because what kind of ink is on there? Water-based, Water right. If it was oil-based, it would be kind of hard to get off that. You're going to need a spoon. This is a plastic spoon. Try to get a spoon from home. Of course, everybody has spoons, but you need a spoon because you're going to do the rubbing and the transfer onto the paper. This is the way the process works. You actually take a piece of styrofoam. Now, what you can do at home is take the styrofoam piece and cut off the edges. You don't need the edges. All right? Just cutting around like this. If you have a paper cutter, it'll work quicker. And you don't have to worry about it. You can make it as, as straight as you can here. But for time's sake, I'm just going to go over this just a little bit quick. And even if my lines are a little bit cro crooked, how might you get a nice square? By using a what? Begins with an R. Rule. Ruler. Yes. Use a ruler and a pencil. Then you can get a nice squared off piece like this. This here, throw it away. Do not chew it up or chew it. I'll let your dog chew it because it has chemicals on it. That's right. It'll get you sick. Now, what I'm going to do is to show you how we actually make a print. And my two friends right here are going to actually print their uh, styrofoam print today. They were working on this in art class today, so they're kind of very excited. You guys excited to do this? Yeah. Right. And they worked very, very hard at doing this. So what I'm going to do is show the camera. I'll show what I'm doing. And then when I'm done, I'm going to show yours. And then we're going to ink them together. It's very important right now to actually realize that, first of all, this is a piece of styrofoam, as you can see it. If you were to look at, look at, it, at it through a, a microscope, you would see millions of millions of little fabrics and, fabrics and lines going this way. It would actually look like this if it was close, close up. So this actually will prevent you from digging in to make a straight line. So once again, you have to be very careful of how you dig into this. The word to dig into it is called engraving. You engrave using a sharp pencil, sharp point, and you're going to engrave, which means almost like draw into, dig into this print, the styrofoam. Now, this will be called the printing block. Printing block. You will be engraving into the what? Printing block. That's right. What will you be engraving with? With the pencil. That's correct. Good. So let me show you something of what happens when you don't do it properly, like I, if I try to dig right into it. I'll turn on the 8S side here. If I try to draw, because there's a lot of lines going this way and that way, under a microscope, I said, like almost like fibers and fabrics going this way, it would go like this. what happens. It, it snags and it, it, it rips. Exactly. It rips. So what happens is what you have to do is, this is a process, what you have to do is draw your picture first. Okay? 
So I'm going to make a picture called trip to the moon. Okay? A trip to the moon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw right now this picture that I want to draw of the earth. And what I'm doing is I'm drawing very lightly. So if you can see, I'm just pressing down very lightly with the pencil. Now, can I ask you guys what happens here if I end up pressing down, if I end up drawing and pressing into the line too hard? It yes, rips. it rips. It rips. So what happens is, here's what you do. You draw your picture, and then where I have a hole here from the other side, I'll make the moon. And then what I'll do is, let's say I'll throw in a rocket here. Look at this, okay? Now, am I really digging or etching into the styrofoam? No. What am I doing? I am just what? Drawing. Like drawing. That's right. I am just drawing. And what you two can do is, why don't you finish working on yours, okay? While Mr. Cap is working on his, finish your stars. Finish a couple of things right there. Finish some stars, some moon, the moon, all the different things, okay? Until we're ready to print. So, when you're done with your picture, what you have to do is start the engraving process. But here's what you do. You pretend that this is a sewing machine needle that goes da 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 okay? So what happens is this. You run your dots all the way through, like this. Do dots have to touch each other, guys? Yes. yes, right. Because if you have a dot from here to here and you pull it, what will it do? Uh, it could what? Rip. Rip, exactly. So look what happens. As many times as I can, I can do this. And actually create, I'm following now my lines right here. Remember, one dot touches the other. Try to have a sharp pencil. If your pencil is too dull, it won't work. So you have to have a really sharp pencil. Now, I'm going over my rocket right now. Here. That's right. That's coming out good. Hold it up. Let's see. So if you look at theirs, they're working on the same process right now. They're etching into the styrofoam printing block right now. Good. Now, clean up your lines, okay? Here's what I want you to do. Make sure your lines are nice and open for this. Making the flame. So, there you have it so far. The creation of outer space and dots to make stars. How do you think, now, what do you think, uh, how do you think I could do this? I want to make the moon all white. Remember, I'm going to put black ink over this. Now, if I was going to do that and I wanted to make the moon all white, I could just crush it all down or something else. What's that? Or you could, um, yep. you could cut it out. I could cut it out or pop, or pop. pop it out. Pop it. Now, can I ask you, did you do any popping out on yours? Show, show, us, uh, show the camera what you did. Wow. Oh, so you popped out the stars. That's right. So what color do you think the stars will show up? White. White. Well, actually, it'll actually be the what? The paper behind it, right? So look at this. Here is the moon. So I'm going to just go around and around. And if I just keep on going around and around, eventually it can come out. So stars. What else do you think that stars could end up looking like as well mm. in another picture for winter? Little dots. Little dots could look like what? Dots. Right? But in a winter's day, what, what do we have a lot of sometimes? Snow. Snow. Look at this. So here's our rocket. Remember, if you want to have an all-white spot, what you have to do is just pop it out. Okay, like that. All right, this is the printing plate. Again, the printing plate is now completed. At home, I mentioned to you getting a hold of a tray. It can be any type of a tray, all right? Try to get a hold of a tray like, you know, an old cafeteria tray or some kind of uh, a baking tray. Any tray that will hold 
the black ink. And again, the black ink is water soluble ink, all right? So, what happens now is using the brayer or the roller, what you do is you actually roll back and forth. You don't need a lot. You don't need a lot for just one print, all right? So what happens is you just use another piece of scrap paper to get off the what? The what ink? The extra ink. All right. That's right. Now, put down your print like this. And then, here's what happens. You roll it. Now watch this. Now this is what you're going to do, okay? So this is really important. Watch this. When you roll this, go one way only. What do you think happens if I go back and forth? It could end up coming up to me, right? And landing on what? The, the, table. the table or on, the on, on the you. Table. That's right. So mostly, and look, just go one way. Now you can go the other way on the corners, but you make sure, all right, that the ink is all the way down, okay, on here. Right, it's nice and firm. Now see what happens? See if I pick it up. See that? So you've got to be real careful. So, the plate is now, the printing plate is now inked. Here it is. And I don't have to worry about ink on my fingers because why? You can wash it off. Wash it off because it's waterproof, right? Yep. Right, water soluble ink. Right? Not waterproof, but water soluble ink. Now, all you guys at home, you ready? Yes. Take your piece of paper like this. So Mr. Cap says you take your piece of paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to print mine first and then you're about, you're going to print yours. So we're going to show everybody at home how your prints can come out. Take a piece of white paper and do this. Place it directly down on top of the print. So watch this. Then put your hand like this. Why do you think I would say touch it? Then it stay on. Stay so it doesn't what? Slide or move? Or um, slip off. That's right. So look, put it down, touch it once. Just like this. You don't have to do this, but you can just go like this. Using a spoon, here's what you do. The round pot. Put your finger in the spoon and just do this. Around and around and around and around like this. And what you do is around. You know, and I will say one thing important that's very important too. Don't use line drawing paper. If you need some paper, then ask your teacher, say, you know, gee, I want to do a print back at I want to do a print at home. Can I have a piece of a couple of pieces of drawing paper? Drawing paper is what really works. Okay? Like school type of drawing paper. Ask your art room or your art teacher, can I have a couple of pieces to try something at home? Or, again, you can go to the art supply store. And where is an art supply store? If you cannot find one, call the operator, ask for the Yellow Pages directory, and just say, could you give me the name of an art supply store in Lawrence? And that operator will give that to you if you call her and say, may I have the Yellow Pages directory? Or, if you have the yellow pages, look it up, right in front of you. Here it is. The print is now ready to be peeled off. I'll let you do the honors. Are you ready? Peel off the print. Ready? Wait a minute. Ready? Now, why don't you do the drum roll? Wait a minute. Ready? You do the drum roll. Hurry up. Drums, drums, drums. No, like this. Ready? Okay, ready? Let's peel it off. Hurry up. Ta -da! There it is. That's the print right there. And then what happens is you let this dry for at least a day because the ink has to dry. If it doesn't, then you'll end up getting it like this and then you're getting it on everything. So be careful of the print. Don't even touch it. Just stay away from the print. Put it like on the windowsill or put it somewhere else just to let it dry. It needs to dry at least for a couple of hours, like five or six hours. Okay, Ronald, now what you're going to do is you're going to actually print that today. 
All right, so you did the etching today, so today is the big moment, okay, because you've never worked with styrofoam before, so this is going to be a cool lesson for you, isn't it? All right, you having fun with this? Great. Okay, squirt a little bit in, on there, okay, just a little, that's right, don't be afraid of it, because we already put some on already, so we have a lot there. Okay, we'll put this right over here. Now, the first thing I want you to do is roll up your sleeves, okay, because we don't want what? Ink on me. Well, that's right, ink on you, okay. Now, roll that back and forth. Take the roller, or the brea we call it, roll it back and forth. That's right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to press this right back and forth. Listen, yeah, that's it. It has a sticky sound. It means it's ready, okay? Now, what Mr. Cap wants you to do is we have too much ink there. So if we have too much ink, we have to put it on a piece of paper. That's right, okay? Remember, one way, one way. That's right, okay? Stop. Now. What Ronald's going to do right now is actually cover his ink plate now with the black water base ink. Okay? Now remember, you're going one way, all right? And you don't need, that's right. Now don't even worry about it. Just, you'll get some on your hands and just go like this. Now watch. That's right. Now watch. Cool, dude. All right? Now keep going. All right? Now get a little bit more. Great drawing. All right? Now, a little bit more. Now, I can still see some of the styrofoam showing, can't you? So what do you think you have to do? A little bit more. Go ahead, take some more. Okay, go back and forth. Go back and forth with this. Okay. Now, let's put some on right now. From right here in the corner. All right, and let's go right across it. All the way across it. Look. And we don't have to worry about getting it on our fingers, do we? Because it washes what? Water base. So look at this, water base. All right. So here's his print. He's ready to print. Okay, his printing plate. Now he's ready to print. All right, you take the paper. It's all yours. Now you're going to put that in the middle. All right. Put it, drop it right in the middle. What's the next thing you do? Right. You what? After you put it down, what do you do? You use the spoon. All right. But also when you put it down, you what? Put your hands and you touch it, right? Okay, so it doesn't move. Using the spoon, all right? Let's try that. Okay, all the way around. That's right, all the way around. Okay, now I want you to give the drumming sound this time, okay? Because what we're going to do is to see his first print, and Ronald has never made a print before like this. So let me take it here for a minute. Okay, and you're going to peel it off. Are you ready? Peel it right off. Ta-da! Cool. <laughs> Look at that. Hold it up. Show it to the camera. What do you think? What do you think? It's cool. Great. Ella is going to do a print right now of hers, of the cat. All right, at night. That's enough? That's good? Good. Okay. Now, what you do is run the ink. Okay, sometimes it gets really sticky. All right. But try this yourself. All right. Let's try this. All right, that should be enough. And what you're going to do is ink it. Remember what I said about going one side? Okay, right up. That's right, one side. That's right. Okay, now that's right. Okay. Make sure that when you're running out of ink, what do you do? Well, All right, get some more. Get some more ink. And try to get his mouth over here. Try to get that. You can tilt that just a little bit. Now. Okay. That's right. Bring it down. Get your corners. Get your corners all the way down. Good. Let me see. I'll just press down. What you have to do is put pressure on it. See, if you put pressure on it, then it'll stay down on the table like this. So see what happens by putting that pressure. And you might have a little opening here. Something might be missing. So what you do is, boys and girls, is tilt this just a little bit like this and just touch these areas that you might be missing. Okay. Ella is ready now to make her print. Here's a piece of paper. Now what do you do? Put it down, and then what? Why do you press it down like that? 
then it could stay on it. That's right, so it doesn't move while you're rubbing it down. Now, you don't have to rub it down real hot, but just do it lightly all the way around like that and try that. Okay, all the way around, get the bottoms and the corners. Ella, you're gonna peel it off now, okay? Ready for the drum roll? Let's start. Da -da -da -da. What do you think? It's nice. Huh? It's nice. Okay, why don't you show the camera? How do you like that? Make it come out great? Good, Ella. Now, if you would just pay attention a little bit more to uh, about this now, do you think you could make another print out of this styrofoam? Yeah. You can make as many as you want, okay? But what do you think happens as you keep putting more and more ink on them? they'll mess up or the holes will get filled with what? Ink. Ink, that's right. So what do you think you have to do in between each printing? Mm. Roll the No, take it to the sink because the ink is made out of what? Uh, water. 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 So what happens is you wash this. And what you do is wash it off. I see what happens. Yeah, now watch this. You can wash the print like this. Now you won't get all the black off, okay? But look, you'll get most of the black off, all right? And you have the print. And what do you think has to happen before you, uh, you print? You have to let it what? Dry, because it gets the water. The water will stick in onto it and make the ink run. And remember, one good thing about this lesson is Look at it. It comes, it comes off so you can wash your hands. Great, great prints from two really cool students. Look at these. How'd you like the way they came out? Okay. Cool. Now, did you ever think of perhaps buying red ink, blue ink, green ink? You can make as many of these as long as you wash them off after each what? Print. Print. Right. And then what you would do here is use this, okay, I'm going to just take this off, it's a little dry, and what you would do now is you can actually just make a, this, all right, a glue stick, getting a glue stick and a piece of construction paper, all right, Ready and by that? using, sure, why don't you try this here, okay, on the other side, all right, and just put it on the other side, just all over the place, all right, all right, got it? All right, and then what you do is take a piece of construction paper. Where do you get construction paper? From an art what? An art store. Or ask a teacher, ask a teacher for what? A piece of construction paper, right? Yep. All right, so here you have them. This is yours. Thank you. Okay, and this is yours. Boys and girls at home, I will say one thing. It's very important, okay? Don't put them right into the sunlight because the sun will make them warp, but also just warp? take them and, yeah, they'll bend and they'll buckle and everything, right? You can use a stapler too to staple it. Now, you can make cards with this. This could be on the front of a card. Think of the different other possibilities that you can do with this as well, okay? But remember, you've got to let it dry for at least five to six hours. Why don't you hold this up here and let's show both of these, okay? All right. Remember, printing with styrofoam, the styrofoam tray, you can call a paper company, the ink, the roller, you can get from an art supply store in Lawrence or wherever, and the drawing paper you can get from the art, you can get from the classroom, and what you can do is you can get that from the art room or you could get that from the art store as well and the glue you can get at a stationery store as well. So thanks for joining us again and looking forward to seeing you again when we have another art lesson and, and we'll be working with paper mache, showing you something to do with called paper mache puppet heads. So if you want to get ahead of the game and you want to get some supplies ready, you will need a balloon, a bag of wheat paste, some newspaper. And that's for now. And, uh, and we will have another lesson after that showing you how to paint the puppet heads. So until next time, see you later. Try that lesson. Try
You are watching Channel 48, Lawrence Educational Access Television.